Okay, guys, welcome back, guys. So let's carry on from where we left off. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. That would encourage me to keep dropping cool content like this in the future. So uh let's get right to it. <clears throat> There's something I need to do. I think there's something I need to do first. It's no detail. Okay. Detail for the nose. And go to the highest <coughs> subdivision level for this. And with the clay build up brush, just try and build each as a bit aggressive. Take this down, give me some really weird results in there. Let me go light handed. Take down the smooth intensity and just smooth this down. Okay. Come to the side view, use the edge polish. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, no, maybe not. Go to lower subdivision level instead. Now use the pinch brush. BPI. No, that's way too so aggressive. Take this down. Still too aggressive. Okay. Yeah, this should be fine. Smooth this in. Okay. Go to the lower subdivision level. Make sure my dense standard is active for us to use. I'll just add a separation. Let me go one subdivision level higher. Add a separation around here. Use the pinch brush. Kind of tighten it. Tighten it like so. <clears throat> and smooth out the smooth out the edge. So going to come down a bit more. Use a small, take down the intensity. Use use a small lab brush size. The small lab brush size instead. Since something around this will be fine. Okay. So there's something here we need to fix for the eye. Okay, this lower part of the eye. <clears throat> I use the clay build up brush. And build some more shape around here. Smooth that down. Smooth that down. Okay. 
So we're supposed to be making the at least base for this campus in here. Let me do a quick save. Okay. Think let me solo this out first. I need to invert the selection. I need to bring this out some more. So let's use the move brush into the mm, to lower subdivision level. Kind of drag this out some more. Okay. Just to get this somewhere around here. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. So let's go to the higher subdivision level. I think we can add. We can add um, I believe we can add skin for detail now. So let me just show you guys my workflow for this. Okay, let me do something something I need to do first. Something I need to do first. Let's go to a lower subdivision level. Isolate this. Okay. Solo this. Use them standard brush. Let's just continue this on. Let me increase this back to. Take two should be fine. Why is it not working? Let me increase the brush size. Okay. Yeah, because something should be fine. Then reduce the brush size. And let's do let's do one step higher. And let's dig in somewhere around yeah, like so. I think I need to go do this a bit later. Mm, I think somewhere around there should be fine. Just to get better definition in there. Maybe dig in some more. No, that's just a bit too much. Smooth this down a bit more. But I don't I don't want to be too too intense. Do the same for the upper part of the lips. Okay. Then smooth that down. Just trying to create some kind of soft flow around it.
and uh, no, no, it's too aggressive. I think I need to do that. Let's go to lower subdivision level instead. No. Okay. So if I should, I should have a smoother transition around this now on the higher subdivision level. I think this, is, this should be better. This should be better. Okay. Yeah, that should work fine. All right. Trying to figure out if there's any other thing I'm supposed to do in here. I think the other thing I'm supposed to do in here should be breaking up symmetry in here later on. <clears throat> later on. But for now, let's just leave this as it is for now. It is for now. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to create a new layer in here. Create a new layer in here, and I'll just name that to be skin. Just name them to be skin. Skin pause. All right. Okay. This person shouldn't. Should, yes. Okay. We need to. Now the regions are usually maxed out before applying this. So let's go in there and max out this region. Should probably go to a lower subdivision level first. I'll be using the pen marks for this region of pen. Usually like to max out the lips. Let's go one subdivision level higher. Max out the lips like so. Probably ignore this in our part of the robot. <clears throat> Let's just get some matting in there. So let's go one subdivision level higher again. Okay. Do the upper part of the leap. Also marks out these parts, even though it's not entirely necessary. But let's just marks out all these parts. Okay. Do the same for the eye. But for this part, okay. Think. I'll be more aggressive in this region, at least something tight here. Stronger marks around this region. Okay. Let me clean this up some more. Like so. This smaller brush size. The smaller brush size and then try to be more precise in here on the edge since i'm doing this symmetrically so it should work just fine 
then i'll go a bit light handed around these parts i'll go a bit light handed okay so i'll go strong handed in the inner parts I get a smaller brush size. Go strong handed on these parts. So I don't want the skin details, skin body details to be affecting this, but this part is somewhat kind of smooth. Somewhat, there isn't so much skin detail happening around there okay then on the and on this part i'll go a bit light handed okay Right, most of this we might need to come back and modify, but let's just carry on. So, same also for the year. I'll go light handed on the year. I'm not doing it aggressively on the year, so I'm kind of a bit light handed on the year. I think that should be fine. Okay, that should work just fine. So, then now, so apply uh, this skin. I'm going to be using this skin kit, Clip Normal Skin skin Kit Alpha for this. So, if I should come in here, for continue, let's do a quick save. Okay, so come in here and uh, is it is it alpha? Yes, under um, uh, alpha flip skin. I think they are actually they are actually two. Yes, tie label flip skin tie label. So um. You can see this in here now. I think I'll look for something similar to this. I have a reference for it. it should be this skin pose O2. So I usually use this skin pose O2 as my base. It's gonna get some skin pose in there. So this is usually my base for skin pose. So skin pose O2. So to apply that in there, I'll need to go to okay, let's make sure we're on the highest subdivision level first. Let's go to the highest subdivision level for this. Okay. Then we'll go down to surface noise. Then we'll come here to, down to alpha off and on. I would need to go to my program files and then z alpha flip skin tie label so the name was pause o2 so i'll apply that on there let's zoom into our model so it's not really affecting it very much yet so we need to make some do some settings in there so i think i used um, let's try the multiply Let's let's stay with stick with max then mix noise um, alpha scale let's increase this uh this is the wrong one
UV mapping instead. Something seems off. Guess I'm missing something. Something definitely feels off. Zero this mix noise out completely. Yeah, now I've been, now we get something. This is precisely what I'm looking for. It's precisely what I'm looking for. 